Hey guys, Chris Girl Fishing here. Just out in the garage, spooling up some reels. Thought I'd give you guys a, you know, a little line slash maintenance slash line storage tip. Uh, I'm just getting done with the reel here, tying up my leader to, uh, you know, my backer. Because uh, us as pros, we still are cheap and we put backing on. But uh, yeah, I'm going to continue here in a second. Get with those tips. See you in a sec. Tip one, just a simple thing. I am a little anal, but I like to bring the knot right in the middle of my spool when I'm tagging it. And uh, you can use good old spit to kind of get it in there because you want you don't want that knot to sit up inside there. It's just something I don't like. Uh, one of the things I use is not only to do this, but to condition my fluorocarbon, condition my braid, is KVD line and lure. Not just saying it because they're a sponsor. Uh, it's they don't pay me enough to say, you know, I, I've been using it since I was, shit, me and Jimmy started using it back in like 08, so 09, like right when I started, so I'm a big believer of it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of spray it in here just to lube up that old backer, but I'm going to hold this tight and I'm going to pull my knot into my spool, if you see, I kind of pushed it in there, I'm actually going to add a little more, because this is, does not hurt, and that's how I'm going to start to spool my line because uh, I mean I don't cast that far I mean I'm not Hercules so but that's the first tip and uh, next tips coming how you doing back again here a couple other quick tips here uh, cooler for storage you cannot go wrong uh, cheap cooler I've had forever keep your line in here uh, it goes through the element, you know, whether you're in 20 degree weather or 100 degree weather, this kind of keeps it at an optimal temperature. I know you see a lot of pros doing it, not trying to steal their deal, but we all, you know, want to take care of our line because that's how we get our fish in. But uh, it's kind of a good setup. I've got all my stuff in there. Um, next, you see that piece of sponge in there. We'll be getting to that. But uh, here's one thing I'm not teaching all you kids to steal or anything like this, but this is the best thing, the best tool ever steal an ice bucket from a hotel I think uh I think Jimmy stole this one or I stole this one back in 89 but it stuck with us so but yeah do that especially for the bulk spools drop it in there you already saw me tie my base knot to my hold on my bad over there so you already saw my tag knot tied everything's ready to go and then take a look over there see how easy it spins out of that But here's the thing I do, okay, everyone. KVD line and lure, spray it on once in a while when I'm spooling. Manages fluorocarbon, allows you to cast for distance, but this is great when you just put brand new fluorocarbon on. But this is the cool one here, boys and girls. Manage my rod, I'm a tile setter, I get a piece of sponge, and I soak the sponge with the KVD line and lure conditioner. And now, I wrap my line and I pre-coat it and I can squeeze it to put more on or off. And that's just kind of how I roll. And I'm, I'm treating every little bit. And I'll tell you right now, it's great no matter what you do, but excels in spinning tackle. That's my tip. Hope it all works for you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Take care.